Makoto, we've all been waiting for you! <laughs> hmm. I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial! Wait, no. You don't save jumping for conclusions. What? Then we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> so they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? Yeah, it's that fuck boy in the back right corner. <laughs> wow, just spoiling it. Is everyone here? Okay then. Please oh, wow. the elevator Spoilers. in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. It it's really obvious if you ever talk to him, which I refuse. Where all yeah. your face will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Hey Mondo. So whoever got so whoever stuck us here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Hey. There's no point in standing around here. Settle your resolve and step into the future. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. In the end I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Sayaka would want us to find out who killed her? Let's get started. Got it. Relax, I haven't 100% decided that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. What the heck? I can't help but wonder what whoever killed Sayaka is feeling right now. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Rather than saying anything, I'm just not going to. Being so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. Very impressive. <laughs> well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? So the school basement has become the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Nike's final curtain call. God, you're a fucking spaz. I guess I have no choice but to get this to get on this all here. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good day. Hey. Are you scared? No, scared isn't Makoto. quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. And you don't cover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raise my voice to try and give myself courage, I turn, trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. With each step forward, I feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on, the doors closed, and the elevator started to move. It's a huge elevator. Look at some people will not see in five chapters. I mean, next chapter I can say that I won't see a couple of these people. Hmm. Steelbox descended with heavy chunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time oh. finally comes. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? What is to our shared anxiety? The elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived! What do you think? Does it just feel like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, am I right? Not even close. It's total shit. Well, now. Okay, okay, everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Yahoo! Hurry up now, hurry up. 
We did waste that and found our suits. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. They're not seats, we're all standing. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't even notice that the first time I played through this first chapter, and uh, what the hell? It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else, which also made it be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and ease onto everyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Also, I just realized there are three seats empty. So the curse in our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly bur Dude, you're fucking spaz. Mm. He's not very good with analogies. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense of the faith. A deadly class trial. Do you want to keep going? Yeah. We can probably get to, like, the, uh, midway mark. Melodious voice. Yeah. Increased damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bold time battle. Costs 3 SP, which I have 11, so. E handbook. Last thing, because I don't think I ever want to do it myself. That's not what it is. Uh, two points. Yep. That is everything. Let's do this. Finish preparations. Trial. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course! Okay then, everyone close your eyes, and whoever did it, raise your hand! Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship penetrates? <laughs> okay, but what about that other NPC? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin, the debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found out, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me, everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin, would you like to hear more? No? Do we need a tutorial? Um... No. Make your argument. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono! Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in the killer's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that... The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. Uh, how do you do it? What? didn't even have a chance to resist. I mean, right, you have to aim. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I realized that. I thought I was aiming at the person, not the statement. Okay, I got it. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. You can also fast forward, but if you're on the controller, probably one of the triggers. I don't know. So that's the one that slows it down. Doesn't fast it up. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance. Not you got that wrong! Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. 
never looked. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the Kill, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. We need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. Make your argument. The kitchen knife said. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on. You got that wrong. It's not a random knife, it's a no. specific knife. I do think it was a knife. But not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Yeah, we That's definitely crazy. do. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. A lot. Location isn't evidence. Hold on a second. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know it damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? No. Make your argument. I always account. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? You mean Kuro must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret. Nobody was in the dining hall. That one. <laughs> you got that. I, I did it. Nah, it's too late. I, I did it right when it popped up. I was pressing the button. Too late. Okay, so what's the button for... Slowing down was one of those bumpers that I had to do. I don't yeah, know but the left that. bumper doesn't speed it up. So I guess there's no yeah, I don't know. That the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? I don't. I don't know. I pressed every button at this point. There, this time it fired. You got that wrong. Whatever the Japanese version was. Okay, wait. Something good, Gaio. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. That's it. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Dina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't 
think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together, and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? I can imagine a situation where someone's going to work they together. Did work together. Like what? And they just didn't know about the rule. Um. All right. So I'm. Um, I. Uh, psycho obsessed Toko with Biakia. Aren't you shame? Uh, yeah. Good grief! Enough already. No. Okay. There are no accomplices in this place. Oops. Thank you. Did I say that out loud? Anyway. I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. But then, couldn't either one of he them... He doesn't even know everyone's life? name yet? It's not like he'll get more of a chance no. to. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Ooh. I'm so scared Ooh. thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. The two of them are two of my favorites, Which though. Which means we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? Uh... No. How? She wears a Ishimaru. skirt! How can you not tell Sakura's a girl? You are? I mean, oh are you really I'm fucking so judging? But if it wasn't I'm just of saying! Of That's really unprogressive of you. Fuck you, game. She has titties. Actually, she has titties! Okay. Massive pecs. Titties! Oh, yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, hmm. because... They're not here anymore. Someone's not here? Are you talking about... Sayo. Junko? She's the one <laughs> I was thinking Junko. <laughs> and then later, she wound up dead. I mean, what if the killer was Junko? What bad. happens? <laughs> Monokuma. It was Saka. Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... And the person who took the knife was the victim herself! I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? He did do it after all! No! 
You're wrong. So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Yucky, I did that on purpose. Mm, yeah, you did. Asshole. You possess a most terrifying talent. He could use this talent to control the entire situation in a good way, but he just wants to bully one person. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit, gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? I don't really remember how this one works. <gasps> oh, you don't need it, you'll... It's fine. So it should have been at the scene, but wasn't. That must be the crucial point. If we can just figure out what that something is. Hangman's Gambit. <laughs> it's just the letter one. Uh, so you have to hit the letter that you think spells the word. I wonder what um, they're looking for. Okay, A. Um, there. Understand? That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. I don't remember that so at all. The culprit yeah. Some Kyoko said that earlier. Yes. And if I no, I meant that hangman's gambit. Why oh yeah. I need to get That's rid of all the hair in my easy. own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason I mean, actually, it could be the reverse. ...was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes Shaka's sense. body was there. No. Oh, if that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The I wonder. Of it all, of course. Maybe because only one person in this room has red hair. Then that means precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then Makoto isn't the culprit. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? The killer struggled getting to the bathroom. The evidence that proves that is... It's the door now, yeah. I got it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? I wish I could just bring up pictures oh, in real life, true. just floating in the air. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. 
It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Right there. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. I don't think you need three tutorials on one su subject. Like, come down. Make your argument. The bathroom door frame. The incident took place in the Kodo's room. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. You got that wrong! The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door, <laughs> that's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. One important detail, something the killer didn't know. For some reason they were convinced the door was locked, which means the important detail the killer didn't know was... That, uh, the crime took place in my The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying? Oh. Oh. There is a... Oh. Okay, this isn't what I thought it was. Never mind. Ignore that. And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up! Quit without saving! But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! Seriously? Majority what? rules? Do you really think that's a good idea? Oh, that happened five minutes ago. I didn't see your messages. Yeah. No, yeah. that's why the don't Our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. 
for serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. <laughs> you gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then, maybe someone picked...